With 14 more games left in Season 1, we've only got one more week of episodes left to go. And today, we start against Monaco, a team we're currently a little bit far behind. If you look at the table right now, we can leapfrog Montpellier with a win today into 8th place. But that 4th and 5th spot's still a little too far away. We'd be 6 points off Monaco with the win here, so this is a crucial victory. But we'd still only be 7 points off Law, so... Very, very difficult end of the season it's going to be. You see PSG have now leapfrogged into the top spot, which is to be expected, but a hugely important game here. We really need to win this game and put some distance between us and 10th and 11th and also move into the top seven. You know, we need to start getting to these positions. Otherwise, you know, we're running out of games. We got to do it soon. Monaco, Lorient, and Nantes. And Strasbourg are going to be the games today. Not actually near the top of the league. We got pretty embarrassed by them earlier on in the season. And then PSG Marseille in the next episode. It should be. That's going to be a tough. That's going to be a tough, tough game of episode. That's going to be some tough games right there. But let's not worry about that right now. We've got a big game here. This is the team we're going to go with. This is going to be my starting 11, I think, for the rest of the season. Bringing players when you know we need to you know, get some rest and such, but let's see if we can get a big win here against Monaco like we did earlier on in the season. Monaco's starting lineup. Luke Shaw starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Oh, Ilich into Lacazette early on in this game, but big save by Newbell there. Early chance. Really want to start taking some chances early against this Monaco team. As I said, this game is very, very important to, to actually win. Because if we don't, then we might be too far behind Monaco, honestly, the rest of the season. We're already six points behind. If we go nine points behind with 13 games left, that could be too far, you know, of a position to leapfrog at this point of the season. And Kevin Voland early on has found the back of the net. A great attack there by Monaco. And <laughs> it is not looking good for us right now. We really needed this victory and we're quickly 1-0 down. Had one chance early, but you see here just the attack completely tears apart my defense. And Kakare just standing there. I don't know what it is with some of these players sometimes. Just stand, like, just look at, like, what is he doing? Uh, unbelievable. Maybe I really need to spend a lot of time actually work on the tactics in this team. Because it feels like a lot of the players just kind of chill and don't really do anything. At the back, which lead to these goals, not really, not really making any big plays. But we've got the attack. We should be able to come back in this game and hopefully get all three points still, despite conceding early. Oh, Lacazette with a good shot there, right before halftime. 1-0 down to Monaco. Not looking good right now. Need a big second half here. I am going to make a change here. Roman Fave, I still have... I've, yeah, I, I don't know. I have to say I have to change the default for the attacking uh, formation here. But Roman Fave has had some good games, but he's been really inconsistent. I think I'm going to go back to the midfield with Taliso at least for now. See if he can provide a little bit extra right now because Roman Fave is just not doing it. In today's game but we've attacked well I think still in that first half we need a goal but I think I think it's gonna come to us this game I don't think we're gonna get I don't think they're gonna get a clean sheet here at least what am I even supposed to do about that I feel like that was perfectly defended by Diamande and Ben Yedder on the rebound just no one there defending picking that up and Monaco have gone 2-0 ahead. Oh, the sack could be coming. Honestly, my manager rating is so low right now. I could realistically... Yeah, I just... Lukeba's got to get on the end of that, unfortunately. But that is something that could happen. I could realistically get sacked if this season goes too far awry. Thankfully, we have... You know, the worst of the games will be over in next episode. So hopefully, we can at least win all our games at the end of the season. But we are not looking... To be in a good spot here this season, especially in terms of keeping my job for next year. What a nightmare of a goal to concede. It's just going from bad to worse. 
here. And yeah, Monaco really needed to get this one. And now we're putting ourselves almost in an impossible position to get back into Europe. We might play the Conference League of all things next year. Which, I mean, to be fair, we haven't really deserved any European football this season considering how poor we have been. The building blocks are there for the future, and this team should be good in a C Oh, can Guso at least get a goal back here? No, he cannot. The building blocks will be there for next season. Whether we'll get that opportunity or not is yet to be seen, but just poor defending once again, costing us another three points. Well, Lacazette will at least get a free goal back. We'll take one for Lacazette. All right, let's skip that. We got to keep going. We we might be able to save a point here. Let's let's focus up. But that is a good goal in on the counter attack by Teta, really focusing in and you know counter attacking well. All right, we got the ball again with Teta. Can we find Lacazette again? Elich into Teta. Okay, well maybe we can find something here into Lacazette. Oh, big block there, but. <laughs> If only we could defend a little bit better. The chances are coming quickly now. And Tolisso just not able to get past that last defender. If we scored that, we might have been on for at least a draw here. But good defending by Monaco there to send the bleeding for now. I cannot believe Lopez actually made that save. What a save by Lopez. We'll bring on Le Pena, I guess, but... Luke Shaw actually was on this team, which is kind of insane to see. Realism out the window on that one, but completely dominated by Monaco from start to finish today. And as I said, the sack, I mean, our manager rating is really low. The sack is definitely possible. Our objective was to win the league and the cup this season, do a double. And so, so far off of that objective, so... I don't know. I don't think we're going to get sacked after this game, certainly. I think we're going to get you know, a couple more games, at least this episode, surely. And I guess might as well concede another one for good measure against Monaco, <laughs> but we're definitely at risk now from here on out where manager rating is going to go criminally low, and if we get sacked, then it'll leave an interesting <laughs> situation for this channel considering I've, you know, planned to do this for a couple months and getting sacked would certainly put a wrench in those plans. All right, we've survived at least a sack for this week. But we go into the game away at Lorient, and if we don't win this one, then I think it could just be honestly over from here. Let's see who we get. Boucher potentially could be good. We'll sign him up. It doesn't look like these players are going to be any good at all, unfortunately. Nothing really... Not really getting any great players from our... From our youth scouting as well, which kind of is unfortunate. But big game against Lorraine here. They're near the bottom of the table. We're currently in 10th. Let's take an update on where we are at in the table. 10 points back of where we need to be right now. Just still not good enough. Really need to get this victory here. Because otherwise I think it could be season over. Alright, we got a classic snow game here. We haven't had one of these yet in FIFA. Interestingly enough. So well, what, what better way to uh, <laughs> to put my season at risk but a game in the snow. And let's see how we do. I brought Tolisso in today over Roman Fave. I just felt like Fave just... I don't know. I He's had some opportunities where he's really good attacking and then just weak in midfield. It's such a weird... Such a weird feeling with him, honestly, most of the time. But I'm going to bring Tolisso in. Hopefully he does something. Already getting in there in this first half and getting a big opportunity. I, I just think Tolisso might be a more consistent midfielder, especially defensively, where, you know, I've been really struggling defensively. And, you know, with Traore coming in, our front three is a little bit stronger. So I think I'm going to use favorite to focus on the defensive aspect just a little bit more in this team. Oh, Traore? No, nothing doing there. Oh my god, what a goal that is by Alex Lacazette. Uh, just how is that even possible to score a goal like that? <laughs> Unbelievable. We needed some magic like this in this episode to bring something back. And just look at that, Lacazette, they're all dropping off on him. And just absolutely beautiful strike. Keeper just, I don't know what the keeper was doing there. Just caught wrong-footed or something on that shot. But 20 goals in the league for Lacazette. We haven't had many bright spots 
in this season, but that is a huge bright spot. Lacazette's performances have been unbelievable all season long. And Elich has scored. What a move by Tete in to Elich and 2 0. What a way to bounce back after that horrible game against Monaco. We needed a performance like this and we are getting it. The counter attacks just putting Lorient into just horrible positions here. They're just so wide open at the back. And just look at that. Completely opens up. He taps it past the keeper. And what a goal that is. 2 0. We need to go for more, I think. We got to improve our goal difference, especially after that Monaco game. It's not good right now, and if we're going to be level with teams on points, we at least need to be able to have a fighting chance on goal difference. Big tackle there by Malo Guso to prevent another cross coming. They're making a substitution here. I don't know if the player is injured or something. But early substitution before the first half, or maybe they're trying to bring on... I, don't, I have no idea who Aushi is. I, he might be a defender. <laughs> Imagine bringing on a really... The CPU brings on a top player to try to win their first corner of the game right before halftime. That would be pretty hysterical. Oh, no. All right, they're going to get the final kick of the game here. Got to defend well here. Surely that's offside. I guess it isn't. Well, Mafi is such a good player. And he finds a goal right before halftime. Not something that we wanted to see, especially after we dominated basically the entire first half. Just look at that. Yeah, dominate the entire first half. Elitz just lets him through, and he's somehow onside. It's Guso leaving him onside. Why do the fullbacks in this game love leaving players onside? I don't get it. It makes this game so frustrating. But we still have the lead going into the second half. Annoying that we conceded, but... And job partially done. We just got to finish it off here, though, and we can't drop any more points, as I said. I'm pretty much sure I'm at risk of the sack at any point over the rest of the season, and that basically means we have to get points and definitely win almost every game from here on out. And Tolisso has found it. A rebound off the defender, and it ends up going to Tolisso in the end, and a great goal. Earning his spot back in the team. And, you know, that that's one thing I feel like Roman Fave never really did was get into these kind of final third positions, which is really weird. He's a more attacking minded midfielder, but that is a great position for Talisa to get in. I guess we'll bring on Roman Fave just to save Illich's stamina at this point, but that is a great finish by Talisa and should hopefully finish off this game and we should be getting all three points that he needs Lorient and that'll get us to 40 points avoid the drop <laughs> avoid the drop with 40 points um, not really what we were hoping for but you know we don't really have to worry about the teams below us anymore and the complete disaster now we can completely focus on trying our best to somehow get back into those champion not the champions league in those europa league spots Oh, Lepinov finds the end of that cross, and we have erased all of the damage from the Monaco game, goal difference-wise, and that is a great goal on a great cross. I was trying to get to Lacazette, in all honesty, but we'll take that going into Lepinov at the end. We'll bring Sherky on, and Traore once again continuing to provide in this team, and yeah, the goalkeepers in this game suck, but, but... We'll take that big result here against Lorient. And hopefully we'll get us back into ninth place. Once again, we haven't really made any progress despite all the wins we've been getting. But first goal of his career at Lyon here. Hopefully we're here for many more years to come after this to see his career progress. But that's a good start to, to keeping the job and getting into a position we need to. And oh, like I said here at the end, can we make this five? Oh, I would certainly take a fifth one here. Oh, into Sherky. Sherky, make a move. Into Tagliafico. Oh, into Fave. Oh, big block there. But Guso can hopefully get that into Teta. And yeah, nothing going to happen there. It would be a little bit wishful thinking to get the fifth. But we will take that. That is a huge win for the context of this season. We really needed this one here I think to have a chance 
at getting anywhere with this team. As you know, as I said, I'm at risk of the sack at any point here. And if we fall too far behind where we need to be, it could be a disaster. Now we come up against Nantes, a team who have been very, very good this season, actually fighting for the title throughout this season. Let's take a look here at our Youth Academy. Not looking good either. Just on no fronts here are we getting any Ws. You know, Boucher could be a potential good player, but so far away, I think, from being someone realistically who will be able to be in the first team in any way. As you can see there, Lepinov, first goal of the season, and this first goal at Lyon. Tenth place still here, and as you can see they're not in third place. Falling behind a little bit. Well, if they win here, they could go back into first place, but Monaco still fighting for that title. As you can see here, seven points still separate us and Stad Rene. I think fourth place is a little too far, honestly, to leapfrog into, so we're going to have to fight for that fifth spot, and hopefully that should get us Europa League if a team already qualified for Europe makes the, the wins the cup. Oh, mistake. That was a huge mistake by Lafon there, and Lacazette almost takes advantage of that opportunity there. Not, once again, they're a team fighting for the title right now, and a team that could be in the Champions League next season. Kind of surprising. You would not have predicted that at all at the start of the season, but we definitely saw why in the first half of... La of Oh, what a move in by Troy into Elitch. What a shot that is. Really opening up the defense. And we needed a big goal like that in this episode against a team, you know, doing very well. We've been able to beat the, you know, the lower table teams of recent times. But we have not been able... What the fuck is this replay? <laughs> we have not been able to beat teams fighting at the top and... That is a huge goal to get early on. Elich, four goals on the season. He is starting to have a little bit of a resurgence in this second half of the year, which we really, really need at this time. What is the CPU doing, man? Oh my god. I had the ball and the CPU just runs the player over. If I can see it off of this, I swear to god. Man, if I concede, this is a nightmare. Thank God we didn't concede. But what is the CPU doing there? No reason to make that challenge. Lukeba had already recovered the ball and it was going to play it out. But uh, I can already tell what's going to happen in this game. The frustration is going to be high. Oh, nice move by Chari there, actually. Oh, we're on the attack again. Elich. Oh, into Toliso. No, unfortunate. That, that would have been a great goal. Oh, what a goal by Teta there. Off a ricochet off the defender. And we are ahead 2-0 before halftime. Unfortunate, honestly, for not. They've had such a great season. But with everybody, you know, put, putting pressure on them at the end of the season, it looks like it might just fall apart after being top of the table earlier in the year. And that is a decent block there by the defender. But Teta able to take advantage of the keeper and puts that in the back of the net. What a goal. 2-0 before halftime. We will take that. We need these points badly right now. And if we can perform against these top teams, then I definitely believe we have a big opportunity to actually do something with the rest of this season. I don't even know why I talk. Why would I even talk that we have a chance of doing anything? Oh, my God. What a goal for not there. That is why Ludovic Blah, a player I would consider signing in seasons past in career mode, finds a goal right before halftime. It's starting to feel like the L'Oreal game, and you can tell just the defend, defending's just not good enough right about now. That's just a great goal. Not really, I mean, Lopez maybe could have saved it, but nothing really he could have done. And we go into halftime here. 1-2-1. One, one. Thankfully, we got that second goal. But it's going to be even more difficult in the second half. Not have been a much, much better team than us throughout the course of the season. So a lot of draws there in the middle of the table. Though. That is something we definitely need to see right now. As we, you know, if we can pick up three points and teams around us start drawing, that'll give us the ability to progress up the table. Oh, 
Oh, and Alexander Lacazette from Toliso, 3-1. to one. And that is a perfect goal. We needed that one to restore the two-goal lead that we had early on. And, oh, just look at that, Toliso. I feel bad for ever dropping Toliso. His, he's not as consistent as I would want him to be in FIFA. And I think part of that has to do with the stamina. But, oh, the passes that he makes into Lacazette, the chemistry that they have is just so perfect. And against a not team that have been very, very good this season. Three goals pass him. What a result this could be. Oh my god, Lopez. Huge save that is there. And they are putting the pressure right back at me here. Gusso, good header away, but it goes right to a not player. They're attacking. Oh no, this is not looking good. Oh my god, what a save by Lopez! Oh my god, what is that goal? Oh, what a nightmare goal to concede there. And you can tell why Nantes have been winning games. It's certainly, <laughs> they've certainly got a fortunate goal there. Oh my god, what is this? What is this defending? Look, <laughs> Diamante just doesn't do anything. I mean, to be fair, Diamante probably tries to tackle that. I think it probably goes in the net anyway, but... 3-2, what a what a game this has become, honestly. Just back and forth insanity. Oh my god, what the control by Lacazette is unbelievable there. The ability to hold off the defender and score from that position, just unbelievable. That is, for an 81 overall player, we will take that. Just look at that, completely bullies the defender. And we'll try to make some substitutions here. We'll bring Lepena on. Once again, get him some more game time. Lomami, we can get him some more time as well. And then Barcola up top with the second. With the fourth goal, actually, that should hopefully give us enough distance in this game to at least get some youth players in and get another win. After the game against Monaco, I thought it was going to all <laughs> go so terribly wrong. But Lack is at another great performance. And... Three points that we so desperately need in this season. And with the game against Strasbourg next, that is... Oh, can we get a goal for Barcola in this game too? Alright, uh, that would have been a generous penalty. But the game against Strasbourg, they are right above us in the table. And if we win that game, that I think would be huge for the course of this season. And, if you know, that that's kind of... I feel like every game is a huge turning point at this stage of the season. The Monaco one... Huge turning point. We basically can't catch up at this point, and they are fighting for the title, so kind of don't have to worry about them anymore. But Strasbourg, a team. Oh, can we get a goal for Barcola? No, we can't. But oh, no, nah, no goal for Lich there. But yeah, that is the team we're fighting with right now. And if you can win and move past them, that should mean we're at least going to finish in the top eight this season. Though we'd still have to beat Marseille and PSG, or at least get some points in those games to have any shot of that being the case. Oh, this, I think, might be the last... This would be, I think, the most devastating loss we have left in the season. Big away game against Strasbourg. They are one point behind us in the table, right there behind us. And if we lose here, it is going to be so difficult, I think, to get and leapfrog all the teams above us to make Europe. So this is one we have to win here. And if we don't, I think it will be too difficult to do it now. The question is, is whether we'll get sacked or not. And honestly, given the objectives, I'm kind of surprised I wouldn't have been earlier. I kind of figured after the loss game, maybe I would have been sacked. I think that would have been maybe the most realistic option. But we're getting more chances, and I think that means we're likely going to get into next season to stay up or to, to stay with the team, which will hopefully give us the opportunity to complete some more objectives, improve our manager rating, and you know, hopefully win some more games to improve it as well. Usually they give you, if they don't sack you mid-season, basically the next season as well. So hopeful for that, <laughs> certainly right now. But let's focus on this game and make sure it doesn't get to that. We can at least get into Europe. That should give us, I think, hopefully you know enough money to, to really improve this team. Oh, let's get a cross in here. Into Traore? No, not going not gonna to happen there. Hopefully we can get in there, get some more money. And then hopefully the board will give us an opportunity to stick around. Tete. 
Oh, what a move by Tete into Gusto. Gusto has to finish that, and he does. Big goal from Malo Gusto right at the start of this game. And he's been creating a lot of assists throughout this season, but it's nice to see him get a goal as well for the club. Tete continuing to build so many attacks on that right-hand side, creating so much. And that's what we're going to need to beat the Strasbourg back five. A lot of good intricate passing, full players out of position. And somehow that's actually Malagusa's first goal of the season. Wow, what a finish that is. Probably his first ever goal for Leon. now that I think about it. But a good goal, and we are quickly 1-0 ahead. Definitely what we needed. Oh my god, what is Lopez doing there? Oh my god, completely found... Like, uh, uh, the defense just let him through. There's nothing that can be done about that defensively. Just a perfect ball into... Uh, that's probably Kevin Gamero, I think. Or it's Piršić, I guess. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but... Yeah, he goes for power, gets the other side of Lopez, and that is a good goal. What a pass into him, and... An early lead through Malaguso completely erased already. Oh, Toliso into Lacazette. I don't think Lacazette's real. Oh, he is going to be able to take it on himself. He's fooled the defender there. What a move that is. And another assist and goal combination for Corentin Toliso and Alex Lacazette. Just what we needed before halftime to make this. Just look at this. Look at the patience on this. The defender just runs past and Lacazette... Puts it far post. And there's almost nothing the keeper can do about that. The defender basically, you know, like I said, that's just a great way to fool the keeper and the defender. Para completely lost there. 23 goals in the league. That is unbelievable. A brilliant first half has come and gone. A great goal by Strasbourg. But we have gotten two goals through Malo Gusto and Lacazette. And we have taken a 2-1 lead into the second half. Something we truthfully very, very much need. I think I'm going to take Illich off here for Roman Fave. Only because I think you know we need to focus on stamina. Have some pace in the midfield. And Roman Fave should be able to provide that and help out a little bit defensively. Great attempt that is from Real Shirky. He's come off the bench. For Lacazette at striker, we're going to bring Lepena in as well. With about 20 minutes or so left to go. Well, I guess 30 minutes with, you consider, extra time. Oh, Lepena with the great shot there. Almost finding another goal there. Let's not push too, too much here. We need to make sure we have a mana back to actually defend this lead. We don't need the third goal as much as we need to prevent the second one here. Oh, there we go. Good tackle by Lepena. And he can find Shirky. Shirky into Teta. What a move. Teta should be able to finish this. And he completely misses it. Oh my god. Unbelievable. That is Shirky creating so much havoc here up front at the striker position. Really keeping us, you know, keeping the ball in their half. Which is, you know, important. We gotta make sure, as I said, this is an important three points to get. Oh, Shirky pushing his man on. But let's kind of ignore him for Tagliafico for now. Into Traore, into Shirky in behind, but Para able to defend that well and kind of potentially getting stuck there, but. And there we go, we've earned a big free kick in a great spot. Shirky looks like he's going to be the one to step over it, considering Lacazette is on the bench. Let's see if we can get this one curled over the top. Wait! <laughs> oh, wait, that's a goal? <laughs> There's no way that that is a goal. Real Shergi scores my first free kick of FIFA 23. And what the fuck is it? <laughs> what is this? 0.2 expected goals over the wall. Oh my god. The keeper has got to do so much better on that. But we will take it. 3 to 1 away at Strasbourg. Such a big result this is for the context of the season. And 3 wins in the episode. You know, 3 back to back. You know, we did lose the first one, but 9 out of 12, not perfect, but uh, obviously, but I think definitely progress still. We are still in the hunt, and as I said, with the schedule we have to end the season, I think realistically we have a really good shot at being able to pick up a good maybe 15 points to end the season, which, I, is 70 points possible? I'm not sure. I, it's something we can think about, but 
right now the most important thing is is that we are going to pick up the three points in this game against Strasbourg and they're not going to leave progress on the table and we should hopefully be in about eighth place right now oh let's see if Le Penal can do something to end the game here into Cherki oh can we get it to Barcola no Cherki will take it himself off the bench Real Cherki four to one what a game he has had off the bench to secure the result. I think he's earned a start, honestly. I don't know if he'll start against PSG or Marseille, but he's certainly earned some game time at the end of the season. And that's a great move by Le Penon into Cherokee. Keeper with absolutely no chance on that one. 4-1. to one. What a result. We, As I said, we needed this result. This result is so, so crucial to the end of our season against Strasbourg. A team that honestly has done really good in career modes. They were really good, I think, in FIFA 21. The save I did, they were they made the Champions League, I think, in the final season. But wow, that was such a good goal by Strasbourg, honestly. Moment of magic from them. But that is a big result for us. 4-1, to one, kind of dominated from start to finish. And it looks like PSG are honestly going to run away with the league at this point. They finally hit their form and are going to be moving back to the top of the league. They're not obviously happy with the progress, but let's go to the standings. Eighth place currently in the table, and we're four points off. Well, let's actually advance it here, too, to see how this how the table actually looks at the end of this. As you can see there, Shirky picks up a brace. Huge for him, but let's, let's advance all the way to actually the game. Oh, I don't want to do training. Let's advance all the way to the PSG game to take a look at the final standings. You know, that should give us at least a Friday game, so we'll have a little bit more of a perspective on where the table is at. But we are currently in 8th place. 21 ga 28 games for everybody played, and we're 6 points back of Racing Club Laws. That loss against Laws might come back to bite us later in the season, but right there, that game against Strasbourg, important to keep them behind us. But... The game against Marseille, that's another one. We really need to get a win in that competition against that team in the league. That is going to be huge. I don't know why I said competition. I read the big competition thing. We got back to positive goal difference. Marseille, next episode, and PSG as well. This is going to be very, very tough, but I think a winnable game here in this season. But that is all I have for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next upload, and as always, have a wonderful day.